All right, today is a pretty big day. Today marks my first opportunity to experience Tiana's Bayou Adventure. Although I've previously shared my opinions on this transformation, I am approaching this ride with an open mind, eager to see what it has to offer. We were fortunate to receive an exclusive cast preview, but despite the lengthy queue, we checked in and proceeded to the Magic Kingdom. Upon joining the line, they told us it was going to be a three hour wait. And well, we waited a little bit and then the ride broke down. So Tiana's might not have worked out today, but it's okay. It's okay because we're probably still going to have a chance to ride again. One week later. So now here we are about a week and a half later, attempt two for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. We're kind of in the same boat as last week. However, now instead of cast previews, it's past all the previews. We got a virtual queue. We're group 22, but the ride has still been suffering severe downtime. By that, I mean evax daily since it opened. I don't think the ride has successfully gone through a full day of operation without any major issues. So we're gonna pray we can get in the park today and finally get on this thing and honestly experience it all the way through because it's scary to say that you are more likely to get evac on a ride than actually finish the ride. So let's dig a little deeper and go find out. That was really bad. I guess you can say we're almost there. I need your, your passion. All right, for the second time now, we made our way to the Magic Kingdom. Attempt two, let's see. Upon arrival, we checked on the ride only to find out it was not operating yet. Oh no. Undeterred, we explored the park hoping the ride would eventually open. While waiting, we did the only thing we could do, indulge in churros. All right, so we were walking around Magic Kingdom and our group got called. The ride is still open and we're gonna get in line and we still have time, please. Finally, the ride reopened and our group was called to join the queue for Tiana's Bayou Adventure. I know I said a ton of things about this ride and going into it and I've made a lot of statements, but I'm walking in with a blank slate. I'm gonna walk in and act like this wasn't anything beforehand, and let's go see what this ride's all about. It was refreshing to re-enter the line and notice all the intricate details, particularly the new sections featuring Tiana's pantry and kitchen. One year and a half later, literally 18 months since the day almost, we're back inside the station, we're about to board Tiana's bike bench for the first time. Let's see. Let's see. We then boarded our log and fortunately experienced the ride from start to finish without any issues, enjoying a seamless front row journey. Here are my initial thoughts fresh off the ride. Before we dive into the layout of the ride and my scene by scene thoughts, this is just initial first impressions fresh off the ride. It was everything I expected and predicted. There are too many screens, too many dark sections, the animatronics are amazing. I will give it that. The animatronics are really good. But it's such a long ride. And it just it just lacks. The whole build up felt like you were getting you were meeting critters who are gonna perform at a party. That was the 11 minute storyline. I just I'm I really did wanna like it. I really did but that does not do. Yes, that ride really needed some TLC. It needed an update. But I think when you're looking at what that ride delivered versus what this ride delivered, Splash Mountain at least delivered way more than this ride ever would. If, even if it was ground up, I'd still think it was cool. I would just honestly call this an extended Navi River journey, but theme to Princess and Frog. We have a lot to discuss regarding Tiana's Bayou Adventure. So much so that the full review will be released later this week. Rest assured, it is coming very soon. So to ensure you don't miss that, please subscribe and turn on those post notifications because that is the best way to support the channel. So for now, this is Hunter from Theme Park Hunting. I'll see y'all later and follow the thrill.